Oh, like I said, it's a battlefield. It's, uh, it's very ugly, mm -hmm. very ugly. Maybe talk for, for a moment if you can uh, and compare, like what is it like to look for a woman at home in America? And then contrast that to your experience in Ukraine. Back home, it's really ugly. It's, it's a battlefield. I mean, gorgeous women like this that are in Ukraine, mm -hmm. it's just unbelievable how, how, how they take care of themselves, how they present that image. Uh, yep. Ukrainian men take it for granted, really. I mean, I've read about it, I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it for myself, and it's true. The most beautiful women on earth are here in the Ukraine. No doubt about it. And not just beauty, right? I mean, it just starts. I mean, yeah. us guys are a sucker for beauty, and that's probably what attracts us here most. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the hook for us is the beauty, because we're men. Uh, but the, the beautiful, beautiful part of it is that these women are so deep, so educated, so loyal, so faithful, so traditional values, right? Like all these redeeming qualities. We, we just like it. It's, I call it the, the land of milk and honey because it's, it's, almost, it's almost too good to be true, right? Yes. Yeah. So what's your experience dating in America? Oh, like I said, it's a battlefield. It's, uh, it's very ugly, very mm -hmm. ugly. An attractive woman like, like you find in Ukraine won't even give you the time of day back home. You have to mm -hmm. make a certain amount of money, drive a certain car, and not only that, but they like, uh, like bad boy thug types mm -hmm. and that treat them like shit. Mm -hmm. So they're attracted to that. So they overlook a decent, nice guy. They can't believe that it it's too good to be true. You know, mm -hmm. a decent guy might not be as you know really fit like those other guys, but you know, just a sincere guy who mm -hmm. who wants wants a special relationship and wants a, wants a future with that woman. They overlook those kind of guys. And they go for the GQ types or the bad boy exactly. types. I mean, it's true. The nice guy does finish last, but only in America. In Ukraine, the nice guy finishes first. Would you say that's a big difference here? Yeah, it's total opposite. Opposite. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, in the last 10 years, let's say, in America, the dating scene and your, your opportunity to meet amazing women that you're attracted to, that you have potential for family. What has that been like? And compare that to your last, well, almost two weeks. You've been mm -hmm. working with us here at Match Guarantee for two weeks, going on dates. How does that compare? Two weeks to 10 years. Yeah, never, never would I date like that back home, like I've done here for the past two weeks. It's just unheard of. It's just, it's just not realistic back home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just back home, it's it's like you gotta look a certain way, make this much money, drive this kind of car. It's very superficial. Yeah. It's not like that here. Well, maybe some there are some bad women here too, but there's a lot of nice women here. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, this industry has a bad rap of gold diggers being in Ukraine. But do you think there's more gold diggers in America or in Ukraine? What do you think? Well, I can say for sure there's more, more gold diggers back home than there is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of good girls here that are just looking for a good man, for love, connection, family. Simple, simple life. Right? Like family life. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that has been lost back home. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you go, like, somewhere way out in the country, but yeah. then again, yeah. 
it's just the programming over there is just really really bad so comparing 10 years of your dating life back in America back in California to two weeks here now dating here with us at match guarantee um, what's the difference there like like is it is it fair to say that you've had more dates with beautiful women in two weeks than you've had in 10 years in America absolutely I mean back home it's a struggle even to like get one date mm -hmm. I mean let alone nine here but over here it just narrows it down and you just got to go along with your gut you know if if you feel mm -hmm. you're connected to that someone just just go deeper than yourself and analyze. I mean, is, is she really the one? Just go along with your inner voice. Mm -hmm. Great advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna ask you that question, so it's a good lead in for that. How you've been on many dates, how do you discern, you know, the difference between a girl that's not really into you? What are the signs of it? Help your fellow man out there well, versus this yeah. is when she's really into it. I mean, you. obviously, you can tell by body language and just your interactions, just the dialogue. You you could tell, mm -hmm. you know, things may be all right at first, but then second, third date, you really start seeing through that person, mm -hmm. and you you will feel that this isn't right. Great advice. Yeah, that's what I tell guys. Just mm -hmm. feel, tap into our your inner voice. Mm -hmm. We really know deep down. Just mm -hmm. trust yourself. Trust yeah. your own ability and to then, discern. Then there's a thing, you know. Then there's you might think, okay, this girl might might not be right for me. Mm -hmm. But then again, uh, you you will see that she's really into you. But somehow, you think. You might have a connection with someone who's not right for you, but then again, you have to really see and acknowledge the other person that's really into you. And just take your chance. I mean, personally, I was looking for someone affectionate. And the girl that I found is, is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Natasha's very affectionate. Yeah. I mean, it was clear when we went out on that double mm -hmm. date, right? Yeah. It was clear. She was so into you, smiling, happy, fun-loving. Mm -hmm. No, you really got a diamond in the rough, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she was, mm -hmm. it was, it was clear to Elaine and I that she was really into you. And then for me, uh, like, what's the ultimate, what's the ultimate signal, do you think, from the signs you've received from her that she's into you? Remember? what happened yesterday right? Mm -hmm. yeah. you know at first there was a language barrier but after that uh, during those, those first two meetings it was like uh, well because of the language barrier it's like it's not the same but once you have a one-on-one -on -one interaction uh, you will see the connection yeah and you'll feel yeah. it yeah, you're yeah. feeling. Yeah. yeah, and what mm -hmm. I'm speaking of is, you know how she messaged you. Well, mm -hmm. you, we, we went out the other night, and she says, "Well, who's the fourth person that you were were, were out were out with, right?" Mm -hmm. Jealousy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, doesn't that ultimately tell you, like, yes, she yeah, is that's, into that's you. definitely a good sign. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, because it's about yeah. reading the women and reading your relationship. Because yeah. you come here, you went on how many dates? Did you say nine? Just about, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in or about nine, eight or nine, mm -hmm. and so really, even eight or nine is that overwhelming? It, it, very <laughs> overwhelming. Very, very. Because you mean, have to make a choice. Yeah. Even, even some of the girls didn't like you, right? Mm -hmm. And they expressed yeah, that. Yeah, and you know, right, right away. Yeah. You know, right away that there's nothing in common. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she, you can you can read that she's not into you, you're not into her, mm -hmm. but it's still after eight nine dates, it's quite a decision. So you have to analyze all the different signs and and be able to discern what level she's into you and feel which which lady to choose. Look at all these signs and so this jealousy thing mm -hmm. uh, that Natasha shown that she's jealous. I mean that really put the icing on the cake. I think, hey. 
Yes. Yeah. Very beautiful woman. Stunningly beautiful. It's like, yeah. I've only seen like, I want to say a handful of ugly women here, but Ukraine is the place. The land of milk and honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I remember the name of that song. What, which one? The Chains Are On. Cool. That's what those words remind me of. Uh -huh. About your Natasha. You know, I think it's rare that you find a woman that smiles with her eyes. She smiles with her eyes. She smiles with her lips, but she smiles with her eyes. She's very light and liberated and, mm -hmm. you know, fun-loving. Like, you really got an amazing catch there. And this is definitely a woman that knows what she wants. Yeah. yeah. She's not just looking to cling on to any man. And she's never married, no children. It was exactly what you're looking for. Exactly. 30, she's 30... 34. 34. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're 42, is it? 41, going 41. on 42. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. About a six-year difference. Yeah. Not much, but no, it's... Not much. Mm -hmm. Very, very healthy difference. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. You did real well.